Darren here. Welcome back to my anime review. Today we look at Yokai Apartment episode 19, which I will say was such a cute episode. I, I really loved it. Um, so we meet this one new girl called Yumi, who apparently, as as uh, Inaba passes her, he senses something dark from her and realizes, oh wait, that's that's exactly what I felt with the teacher and other things. So he rushes to her and and sees her about to jump off the school building, but is able to stop her thanks to him and Fool's efforts to you know kind of calm her down and relax her. And what's funny, though, is that, you know, she thanks the police and tells them to thank him, etc. And all the apartment people say, oh, dude, be careful. She's going to start, you know, basically clinging to you because you saved her and she's younger, obviously. And he's like, no, that's not going to happen. Little bit, little did he know that she would appear everywhere in this episode. And it was, it was really cute. I didn't think it was creepy. I think it was just more cute because you wanted to be near him and all that. Um, you know, Inaba was kind of tough on her a few times but at the same time you know she had a lot of things that to learn and, and to kind of grow out of and we see that once she goes to a, um, a kind of party of sorts with Inaba who is part of the English con I think con conservation arc if I'm not mistaken with that or is it con I don't know if it's conversation or convince conversation I don't know which one it was to be honest I forgot off the top of my head but you know once he joins that with you know with her she starts realizing what she wants to do and she also wants to learn how to speak english and so this way she can kind of broaden her horizons etc you know it was just a cute simple episode i don't think there was anything that was outlandish about it obviously um you know i, I do question it but it's kind of like i said cruelty towards her at one point like he's like you know don't wear that and don't wear this and come here like that and respect and be polite i'm like dude you know she's She's younger than you, but she ain't that much younger than you. Relax, dude. Calm down a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap. And even the fact that uh, of him using Brontus, which is the lightning, um, the lightning from his book, you know, on those girls, dude. You know, I mean, I guess I, I'm I'm glad he was able to use it as a small amount of power in comparison to these explosions I used to make before with it. But you know, th those are girls, man. Using Brontus on them is kind of like a little bit, a little bit overkill, don't you think? I don't know, that was a little strange for me, but, you know, it was it was a cute episode, I really liked it, and I think, I'll be honest with you, I liked Yumi as a character, I kind of hope she comes back, but I have a feeling that she probably won't be as mentioned as other characters after this, I don't know why. Which kind of sucks, because I could, I could totally ship that within it, but I, I like, I like Yumi's character. But anyways, what did you guys think about this week's episode? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, I have two other reviews for you. I have Fate Apocrypha episode 19 to come out, or I think, it's either episode 19 or 18, I apologize off the top of my head. And I also have um, Homoto, which should have been out yesterday, but I was just kind of like out of it yesterday, so I just wanted to relax. Um, so I'll have that out. I, I've already seen both of those. I just have to watch Fate Apocrypha, so expect Tomoto review up after this, and then Fate Apocrypha will probably be out around 3 o'clock-ish. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great blessed day, everyone, if I don't see you in my next review, and even if I don't, if, even if I do see you in my next review. God bless you all. Bye-bye.